Are you wanting to become a YouTuber for fun or for profit? Then check out the amazing Blue Yeti microphone today. Affiliate link in the video description. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and Alien Covenant came out a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's a movie. It's a movie. I enjoyed it for what it was, but it was not at all what I was expecting. Uh, although after Prometheus, I guess maybe it was what I was expecting. Uh, ultimately, as as much of a fan of the franchise as I am, I really feel like Ridley Scott's gotta go. That is, unless he is really, really stringing us along for something grand in the next, I don't even know how many movies he wants to make before it ties in with his original 1979 film. But right now, for any kind of sequel to actually happen, there needs to be a, well, I, I, there's no other better way to say it. There needs to be money. Lots and lots and lots of money. That cold, hard green in order to get Fox to go, yeah, we'll totally dole out cash for a sequel. And right now, if you look at the, the domestic box office, it's not looking very good. And even international-wise, still isn't really the best thing ever. So right now, it's essentially kind of hoping that China will be the savior of the Alien franchise. And that's something that a lot of studios are banking on these days. And that is horrendous. It's horrendous and it sucks and it's only doing everything it can to destroy film as a whole. And I have nothing against the Chinese market. I understand they have a different culture, but it's strangling the 16 American-made films that go to that particular country every single year. And Alien Covenant, oh dear God, is no different. So according to uh, a, a person in China who went to an early screening of Alien Covenant, Fox has decided to comply with can only be described as Chinese censors uh, and remove roughly six minutes of gore in the movie. Because the movie gets pretty gory at times, it really does. Uh, and uh, they wanted to tone that down. But not only that, they wanted to tone down the xenomorph itself. Now, here's what the site says. One viewer who attended an advanced screening called the censored version extremely frustrating to watch, estimating that the film's monsters are only shown on screen for a total of one to two minutes. Now, this person said that the distinct cuts are most noticeable in two scenes in the film's second half, explaining that all gory images of the aliens covered in blood have been removed, as have scenes in which humans are attacked. One scene from Alien Covenant that involves a broken back has been changed so that in the China version, you only see the scared expressions of people outside the door. Based upon this, and there's also been another person that said that the, the chest bursting scene uh, with Scott Crud or Billy Crudup's character, you don't see it burst out. You just see the little alien and then, and then, and then the, 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 the thing after that, which I won't, I won't even spoil if you haven't seen the movie. That is this, like, the dumbest scene in the movie. I get it. I understand what they're going for. But at the same time, oh, oh Jesus Christ. I just shook my head like, what? Okay. So, so you've got that, you've got the Xenomorph stuff cut down to the point of where it's only just kind of half shots of the Xenomorph passing by, uh, and you don't see the Xenomorph's mouth, uh, and all that stuff. You don't see, you don't see what makes the film scary because they, they, they don't want to piss off the Chinese censors. Now, if you're asking yourself, why, why would this be a thing? Well, in China, they're very restrictive as many of you guys know, but they also have a lot uh, of restrictions involving ghosts or I guess demons or things like that because of the religious nature of the country. They very much don't want those kind of things on movies. It's like Ghostbusters wasn't allowed to go there because of the title Ghostbusters and in, in, in movies that go to China, they can't show ghosts. I mean, shit, Deadpool was banned for a multitude of reasons, language, gore, content, etc. And here, Fox, desperate to get the hard Chinese dollar uh, from their emerging middle class, is trying to, at least according to these reports, cut out anything and everything that makes the Alien Covenant movie worth watching. Not to say that the movie itself is horrible. It is enjoyable. There are just numerous problems with it. Even getting rid of the of the of the neomorph coming out of the back scene, 
Like, that is part of the tension. The dude's freaking out, and then his back starts to split, and here comes this little creature, which then adds to the tension. So it makes sense that the user Angel Will Drive uh, very much uh, is finding it frustrating because of this. It makes me wonder, if just to some extent, if, like, um, David Fincher is sitting at home, like, reading this kind of article going, nah, <laughs> I've been there. I, but it wasn't China. It was some fucking Fox executives. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm interpreting that. I could be wrong, but that's, the, that's how I would feel. But I'm curious to know how you guys feel about this. Do you think that those scenes removed from the movie would actually impact it at all? Not seeing humans being attacked, not seeing the xenomorph. Would there be enough there story-wise that would actually make it intriguing to watch? Do you think there'd be enough there story-wise that would still give it a complete alien covenant experience? Or... Do you think that Ridley Scott shot so much extra footage for this movie that they're like, we can just add in a whole bunch of plot points to the international Chinese release. Eh, we don't have to give to the American because those guys can figure it out. Because let's 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 be fair here. Ridley Scott works very, very much like Zack Snyder. Long form, long form directing. And his movies that are the director's cuts tend to be better overall to watch. Same with Zack Snyder. And so I'm wondering if like there's an extended cut of this movie that's going to have the, the, the plot holes. We'll have to wait and see. And maybe China and its release will be able to tell us. But in the meantime, Hollywood, please pull out of China. Pull out of China. Like, I understand you like the money. I get it. But you have to understand that you are basically forcing your filmmakers to restrict so much about what it is that they're making in order to uh, fit that mold. Or stuff just gets cut out and the people there get like a really shitty experience. And honestly, it's a trickle-down effect because you make it shitty for them... And ultimately, it comes to being shitty for us. And that's just the way I feel about that. And there's in many cases to kind of back that up at this point. Um, that's why I, I love Netflix, because Netflix is giving creators the freedom to do what they want to do, to tell the stories how they want to tell them. And there's a reason why they're kicking their crap out of Hollywood right now. And that's a big part of it. Anyway. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day. And don't forget, you got to comment. You got to thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it around with your friends. Get them in on the conversation. Check back often for more movie news from me. If you guys want to support the channel, links below in the video description. I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.